Um, for the Wardens, other than Thalen continuing her magical inquiries upon everyone. Magical spying on your bullshit. I would say that you do note that there's a lingering energy over Rodra, but it's not anything new. Like, she's had it for as long as you've known her. So if anything, you might just think that's part of Rodra's uh, being. So I leave this in your your domain crash, but I think ah. there might be like the a slight smell of ozone, the aftermath of lightning coming from Sajar. In regards to the detect magic, or in regards yes. to 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 okay. I think if Thalen had the tech magic going when the talks about undead were going on, you would have caught that rising aura of energy around Sajar. Oh, ooh, ooh, nice. Yeah, Thalen would just get real close up to you, like, looking like, oh, look at the way his scales jump. You don't like them, do you? Who? <laughs> Like, puts her hands out in front of him, mimicking a zombie? Ah. Uh, no, I do not. Why is that? I've changed the permissions for the Aftermath channel. Hey, oh. <laughs> Jeez. What's there to like? The filthy, disgusting creature that needs to be purged from this plane. Hmm. Some might say the same as dragons, though. Many have. That's why there's so few left. Indeed. What is Violet. it to you, anyway? Just a curiosity. I'll tell you what. I'll help you kill undead. You helped me kill a dragon. Killed one. Chromatic, I assume. He just looks down at some bronze scales at the sarong. I don't think so. Then you best leave and leave quickly. Oh. Oh. It might come back from the grave. That's smart thinking. Smiles. Do you really think I could kill a dragon? A little old me. I don't know anything about you. Do not make assumptions. It was just... What do you call him? The ones without tails. Dragonborn. He was a dragonborn. Just cocks his head. Cocks the head back with you. <laughs> Like mirroring it. also cocks her head. Yeah. Everyone cocks her head. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just like looking between the two. And then as they kind of descend into silence, he says, Is everything all right here? I will be blunt. I do not like you. Failing. Oh. <laughs> I did you say that to you. Specify. <laughs> he specified. He specified. I understand. Or. One of draconic proclivities. The concept of change is very hard. <laughs> Some might say you even <laughs> rule the world. And now, so few. So sad. Oh my. I think you misunderstand something. You ask me about the undead, and then you comment on my heritage. It's not a dragon in me that hates the undead. Yeah. 
There is hatred there. The red is all over you. Yes, it is. I, I hope I haven't offended you. I, I feel like you have. Kaylin <laughs> <laughs> just like puts, just like rocks her shoulders forward and like does puppy dog eyes. Have I? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Liar. I don't think you mean <laughs> anything you do not mean to. What can I do to make it right? She's gonna pull out the knife again. <laughs> she just needs to be stabbed. She just needs it in her life. Maybe you can make it right. I have scales. Maybe you can take some of my skin. Would that make it right? A fair trade. A bruised ego does not equal a scale. Oh. Is it more like hair? Like hair, isn't it? <laughs> so oh. just kind of shakes his head like he's done. He's like, all right, whatever. Just, I'm out. Uh, I think um, your actions, Thalen, can, can make up for your words. As you've said, unless I misheard, uh, you wish to come with us, do you? To aid in this ritual, or...? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, no, not at all. Ooh. I never said that. I just said I would help him kill Undead if he helped me kill a dragon. Right, which is the, the crux of this situation here. Yeah? Perhaps it's best if, um, it's a jar kills his undead himself and you kill your dragon yourself or at least seek help elsewhere glance that's the jar's skill we're all trying to kill a dragon i'm not you would feeling if i ever do find out that you have killed a dragon you'll see it on my sword you... i'll wear it to display it proudly A dragonborn is not a dragon. I know. It would look so much better with a real one. Thalen? What is going on? I'm being provoked. He looks at Thalen? <laughs> Again? By me? I said I was sorry. Guess I'm just not going to talk. No Sometimes it is about no one else's dragons. Have at it. What was that, Sajir? What? Hmm? Well, don't let me keep you. Go on. Find your dragon. Murder it. Go on, then. Well, do you know where any are? <laughs> I heard there's cobalt around. I did hear that. Ah. <sighs> Provoking them to anything, Thalon. It is not our place as guests here. You're well, welcome. I apologize. It was wrong of me to try to dissuade you of your foolish notion. We're all fools, Thalon. And then in an attempt to kind of steer away from the, uh, the <laughs> subject of dragon murder, just, <laughs> infinite wisdom says, uh, uh, Sajar, you seem to very much like dragons. But I ask why? I am a scale of warden. Does that... Am I supposed to know what that means? <laughs> no, no, no. 
Okay. <laughs> no, it, no, that's 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 like some internal lingo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he says, he says that to you, and you're just like, "Those are I know what a scale and an oath and a war are." Yes. It's a shame on what? you for not knowing, though. <laughs> yeah. I know what those things are separately, but together they are gibberish to me. Have you heard of the great Shimantrax? Looks up at the DM. That by. Damn, I was muted. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, run, run that by me. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I was like saying stuff, and I'm like, and then he just like looks up to the GM. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> run that by me again. Run that by me again. I'll take a drink. Have, oh, what, have you what? heard of the great Simandra? <sighs> the iridescent flame. Oh, uh, you have a. I guess we gotta set that up right now, then. Where is your sheet? There is your sheet. We're gonna set up a special role, or a special skill, not role. <laughs> Pretends to <pout. laughs> It's referred to collectively as background information, and it uses hey. the, the best mental stat that you have. So this is basically your character's time in the world would they have maybe come across it. If you're an intelligence person, maybe you read about it. If you're a wisdom person, maybe you heard about it. If you're a charisma person, maybe you heard about from from the amount of people you've you know com communicated with. Uh, roll me your background information. All right. Holy okay. shit! <laughs> you met the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've heard of Shemandrax. He is an old, ancient dragon, metallic, of course, of course, and you can probably take a guess as to what. What type of dragon looking at Sajar's scales? Hi, Tingo. Hi. Supposedly, he was quite the collector of powerful artifacts and, well, had a rather prolific hand in non draconian, well, not civilizations, but affairs. And that is, well, what you assume is. Related to Sajar in some way, shape, or form with this term, a scale of warden and stuff like that. Hmm. There are actually contesting stories to what actually happened to Shemendrex. Some say he passed away, which is some utter bullshit because pet dragons don't just pass away. <laughs> some say he yeah, ascended. Okay. Some say he got killed. Some say he's still alive. He just sort of lurks around the place. Different different stories. Uh, and what, what's, the, has, what's the spelling on that? Uh, I'm sure Fred will beat me to it because he could just copy and paste it from his teeth. Shemandrax. Oh, actually, yes, I have. I've heard many stories about Shemandrax. Finally, someone with a bit of education and knowledge. This I just hear stories. Um, I assume this, in some in some shape or form, has something to do with your scale of warding. The scale of, um, as it's, it's, um, it's how we refer to it within the family. We are keepers. We have sworn an oath to serve Shimandra, to protect the Celestial Horde. I see. That's quite an important calling, it sounds. It is. I don't see a celestial horde anywhere, so I would assume it's back in your homeland. You may assume what you please. And yet you are not there. Or did we just walk over? Are you alright, Cesar? Yes. Oh, right. About that. I, I must apologize on... Uh, oh, God. Valeth? Valen? Oh, God. I've got Valen. Valen. On Valen's behalf. Um, she's not exactly equipped to do so herself. But, um, yes. 
she's very snarky, that one. But she's a sweetheart once you get to know her. A kind gesture, Ulysses, but uh, I will not accept an apology from you on her behalf. I understand. I can only hope you can come to forgive her and she can come to not be as she is in time. I will not forgive her, but I will forget. Or at least pretend to. <laughs> That's all I ask. <laughs> After a day, it seems like Cesar has gained his balance back. He'll just nod and move over. Uh, taking a look around the camp, uh, he will say to you, Sajar, uh, you know, I thought the group I was traveling with was quite motley, but I think you have a speed, both in <laughs> motliness and, uh, what was it, color, but in number. In no small part due to Rodain's leadership. See, I, I met him about a year ago, um... I was um, pursuing a, um, is it an enemy? Yeah, I suppose he's an enemy, isn't he? I was pursuing a bit of a douchebag. His name <laughs> is <Ryan. laughs> He I and I have been. And that's, um, he, he had sent one of his uh, minions after me and uh, uh, Redain stumbled upon, or I stumbled upon his path, I suppose. He was coming my way. As I was um, uh, interrogating, shall we say, said Minion. And how did he respond to you interrogating this individual? Um... I would say you'd have to ask him, but uh, from where I was standing, he seemed curious, weighing, appraising. I suppose waiting to see if your interrogation was justified. I would. I didn't finish the interrogation. The little. Bugger ran off, so I had to kill him, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. And uh, what about this um, uh, douchebag, as you call him? Did you manage yes, to find well, your... Uh... He's still around somewhere, little cunt. Hmm. I can... I can see your hatred for him. <laughs> it's very powerful. <laughs> Uh, yes, I would say that he is, if if you presented me with two paths, and one allowed me to crush some filthy undead scum, and the other allowed me to get my hands on Melvin's neck, I would be in quite a dilemma. I suppose with a name like Melvin, he has to be a douchebag. <laughs> Nobody names their kid Melvin expects to be a good You really person. did, Joel. Melvin's an existence. Yeah, How many Melvins do you know? <laughs> None. Exactly. I know exactly one, and he's actually very nice. Oh. <laughs> Sod, a lie. Oh. No, I will say, so as this conversation continues, you guys hear a set of gunshots from the particularly north, but it is slightly to the east. Uh, now is this the first time the, uh, the Wandering Wardens are hearing that? No, you guys heard it last night. Okay. So is it coming closer? Uh, roll perception. Well, I guess you guys probably heard it twice. I mean, this yeah, twice, twice. Recently. This will be the second time recently. But I think three times overall? Yeah, second time recently, three times overall. Yeah. Uh, whether or not it's getting closer, that's a hard thing to tell. Uh, roll perception. Yeah. Can I also yes. roll perception? I don't think I can assist him, but can I roll my own? You can roll your damn self. Uh, at the time, it's perception. Oh, That's very good, yeah. Perception. Well, that, well, that's for the wrong character. You know what? It's the it's the right shoe. I see the name on the bottom. That's all that matters. 
Uh, Sajar, you don't think it's gotten any closer. It might have deviated around a little bit where you last heard it. It's hard to tell. But it's definitely not like... It hasn't moved like miles closer. It'll also be way louder. You smell hmm. a beautiful smell. That is another time those shots happen. What's, who is out here? That's an excellent question. I've half a mind to go find out myself. That's quite disconcerting. It is north, so... You might cross paths with whoever they are. Or perhaps we should focus on missions we already want. Or have. Yes. As I said before, the day will not wait. We should get going. I have things. Um, what is it? Are we b going to break this camp, or do you intend to come back to it? Looks at <laughs> looks at Redain, who's walking away. I guess. <laughs> uh, as as he's walking away, we have another place we're headed to after this, most likely. Yeah. Well, uh, I, m I must say, um, after we deal with um, this ritual site, I, I may not stick around in case there was any misconception there. Understand. If nothing else, Ulysses, you're welcome back with us. Roger will be going with you guys, apparently. So, you can follow her back to us, or you can continue your own quest. Follow your feet. You, you hear a stage whisperer from daylight. You should come back. <laughs> so it's like like at the gunshots like he just sort of like finished the conversation with Thalen and just sort of like walked away although whether or not he's actually concerned about the gunshots or he's trying to dodge conversation who knows and now with his back to her he hears a whisper behind him so he should come back <laughs> yeah the boss is like nope quick nope. at his face <laughs> nope nope <laughs> nope it's over to it's like a demon he just can't make him stay, King. <laughs> she shrugs. Uh, but Vasa uh, did want to talk to Redan whenever we get to that. Well, just to put a cork on what Ulysses is doing, uh, we'll say, uh, well, while I do value all the new friends I've made here today, um, I can only hope that the, the old host leads me back to you. But I'm afraid the path I walk is when I walk with him and him alone. Understand I am, the bell. I am needed elsewhere, as it is. We are all needed in our own places. That is fair. That, that we are. Then, he goes over to you, holds up uh, like a warrior wrist shake. Jack Sero and all the other gods watch over you, Ulysses. I hope our paths cross again. I cherish the day. He will uh, grasp his wrist and give it a firm shake. Give it a firm shake. He holds on to it for a little, like a little bit longer, but eventually does let go. Ooh. And he just focuses on you the whole time. Sexual tension. <laughs> sure. That's what, you, that's what Ulysses wants to believe. Sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Go when off. The moon hits your eye. As he's walking away, Malcolm. Hmm. Yes. I'm, I must remind you. I did swear an oath of celibacy. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> but Malcolm just like gets really confused. What's it? What? No, no, you, you don't need to say anything. You don't need to say. Anything. That's true. That's, 
you do when you sleep? Well, <laughs> do you sleep? Yeah. Do you sleep, or do you just Let's... watch everyone sleep? <laughs> say go out, say then. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't. Hey, oh my fucking god! I can't with you guys. I fucking can't. Hey, he rounds up the, the, the wardens, and <laughs> you guys are going. Uh, he does pass by Rojo on the way out. Just does a nod to her as she, as she descends down the watch tower. And she just nods back him. I, <laughs> I can't fucking believe you guys. Uh, so. Do the wardens do anything before they go other than... Well, I guess you guys have to assemble. But do you guys do anything before you go? That Taylor just walks over to Tolis and just uh, uh, takes a nice big old breath in. I'm gonna miss the smell of your curiosity. Thanks. Shh. Just put uh, finger on her. Tolis <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. so looks like 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 super weirded out. Hold on, there's there's a gif, I'm sure. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so George does that thing where he tries extremely hard to pretend that Thalen doesn't exist, but you can tell <laughs> that he's not quite there. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not okay. You just want to set it at that. Yeah. It's obvious that he's trying. Uh. Malcolm and the Wandering Wardens do eventually depart, leaving in your company Ulysses and Rodra. This is Thalem departs. She's like, goodbye, Rodra. I just want you to know I never liked you or your people. Oh! She gets a smirk on her face, which is actually probably the happiest you've ever seen her. The feeling is mutual. Thalen, go to hell, and I'll see you there. She leaves, so just leans over to Malcolm. I love her. She she's talks well of you when we're alone. <laughs> I can appreciate that. that dynamic. Like. <laughs> I, 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 I can appreciate them having a dynamic like that, where they're just two bitches that fucking hate each other, but they hate everyone else. More. So, uh, ta -ta -ta. oh, Vaso did want to talk to her, Dan. Hey, just Dan. Every day he does, he goes over and makes sure Jaunter's ready to ride. Dan, can I have a word of you? Of course, Vaso. What is it? And by the way, hmm. it's excellent the way you held that southern line. I fell holding that southern line. I don't know if that's respectable. But you held it long enough. Yeah, I think Tolis kept me alive, brought me back, stuff like that. Oh, thank you all. We needed every one of us. Now, what was it? <sighs> I'm not good at this sort of stuff. I'm not good at talking to people in authority. Who's an authority here? Definitely you. I just have a different skill set to each and every one of them. Yeah, and leading to one of them, which puts you in authority. Alright, I'll be I'll be blown with it. I want to go to those trial grounds. I understand. He just blinks at that? <laughs> you do? Of course I do. The moment we met you, you had something to prove. Why would you not? Yeah. He just awkwardly rubs his, like, <laughs> like beard and neck. Guess I'm uh, that obvious, huh? Not at all. Like I said, we each have our skill set. How soon do you want to get there? 
<sighs> Fuck, I should have asked. Who's looking around to us? I... I don't know how long it's gonna be there. I don't imagine Nevro's trial grounds just stay around forever, or else there'd be trial grounds all over the fucking place. Right? P probably. Perhaps. I might have some Nevro's blood, but it's not the culture I'm accustomed to. No. Maybe I should ask Kasai. But, uh, uh... Sooner rather than later, I guess. Understood. Can it wait till after this? Or does it need to be done before then? I don't know. He just, like, stops doing what he's doing, gets up and tosses the knife that he was using to clean out Jaunter's hoofs with. Tell me what it is you want. He is thinks on it. Wrong in wanting what you want. But if you let us know, we can help get you there. I... I want to push past my limits. But first I gotta find out what those limits are. I'm definitely pushing my limits cutting the drink. It's been hell on me this past couple of days. I understand. So I, that's why I want to go. These trial grounds, see how hard they really are. I don't know what the fuck they mean by trial grounds. I might just be asking goddamn riddles for all I know, but given how scarred up the girl that Suyad was, I don't think it's a talking sort of trial. Mm. We're heading north. That's to the northwest. Right. We can find out information along the way. Arn might know something. As well, Brendan, Silas, or Kasai. Right. Let us get the information so we can at least give you the best arm. He nods slowly at that. Right, right. Thanks. Basso. Huh? You've already came a long way. Still a long way to go. I know one thing I definitely want to try doing. Uh... He awkwardly throws the back of his neck. Just uh, don't tell Sajar, I guess. What? I see. My house had that specialty back in the day. I would not be surprised if that did come up. Well, I was talking with... Uh, Th Thalen, wondering about it, but he shrugs. No dragons around, right? So you might be surprised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially after what the kobold said. Not that. Huh? The vision I had not too long ago it involved an ancient gold dragon versus an ancient red. <laughs> And if things are moving, it might be because someone's taken up the mantle of the red. A new so, action island. Yeah, I guess uh, people like doing that, huh? Living up to old standards. <laughs> he gets like a mirthless chuckle. <laughs> yeah. Are you proud of your family's legacy? He thinks on it. I don't think there's much merit in particular about going after dragons, but I know a lot of people looked up to my family for doing that back in the day. 
So I think there's merit in that. Yeah. Being the people everyone else looks up to. Having that honor, that glory about your name. All gone now, though, I suppose. So maybe it's not worth much in the long run. Not true at all. They've just passed the torch to you. <laughs> he has like this sort of like aloof half smirk on his face. But then it sort of begins to dwindle and turn more dour. Like someone processing like a like bad news. Basso, when they write the storybook of your life, this is just the first chapter. He, he has a smirk at that again. You know, I was, I was ready to die that night. You and I met. For the kid. Sounds like someone that should be looked up to. An alcoholic <laughs> dying by a guard to save someone in prison, I don't think is that inspiring. Anyone else looking? Like, is anyone else looking over this way? Uh, technically, Lambert by line of sight, but I don't know if that means he's like focusing on you. He's more of just talking to Kasai right now. Rodane will just slap the piss out of him. Make me... <laughs> it's fucking instant transmission <laughs> over there. Uh, uh, make me uh, an attack roll. You can use your dex or strength. Add proficiency, because I'm assuming people are proficient with their own arms. Yes, you must have full shit. You're going to make contact either way. I'm just wondering if he takes damage from it. <laughs> you make contact with it. Uh, as this resounding slap happens, Kasai and Lambert... Well, Lambert's already able to look, but Kasai turns around... But not turns around, looks over her shoulder at what the source of the noise was and sees this, and then... She knows that some shit you guys are doing, and then the two of them just continue talking. Listen to me. Good. No matter what you think you are, people are depending on you to be better. Everyone that came before you, your legacy, your ancestors, put their hope in you. They passed on everything they had when they left this world to you. And you are not to doubt yourself. He just sort of, he doesn't even like go to like like, you know, touch his cheek or anything like that. He just sort of keeps looking at the ground in contemplation. Does not blinking or anything. Let the part of you that thinks you're not good enough die today. Know that you are. I don't know if the world's going to agree with that. Doesn't matter. When you have a dream, this world is yours for the taking. He gets like a... Like a straight face. Like a... Mm. He just puts his hand over him and just points off to like the emptiness of the hollow field. One day, I'll have a castle right over there. You want a castle here? It's a land of opportunity. Wherever it is, I'll Good have point. it. Because I've declared I will. And nothing will stop me from getting there. If you want to prove yourself, and push back whatever limit it is that you're trying to push back, then you want that dream more than you want to breathe. 
<laughs> As you say that. I don't know if I have that dream yet. And today is the first day you take on a path towards finding. God, I really, really wish I didn't give up drinking. <sighs> I hope I find that dream soon. Or I rather sooner rather than later. I think you're closer than you realize. Well, I know the very least one thing. I'm stuck in with all of you and particularly with them. And he throws his thumb over in the general direction of the other vagrants. So it's like, yeah. Because <laughs> there's like two of them here and one of them here. Thanks. Again. Say that a lot to you, but thanks. We depend upon you, and each and every one of them. <sighs> you and Rick have a way of words. <laughs> Better than I ever I will ever know, despite me being taught. Legaratos taught me that words aren't everything. Some people speak through action. <laughs> yeah. <I'll... sighs> he like... Uh, his eyes flicker to where you got shot last night. <laughs> I... Definitely can see that. 